Not such an early wake-up call this morning, and we had a great breakfast at the hotel, and we boarded up our bus and ready to go. Good morning, all. We're going to turn to our Magnificat at page 187. Get them out now. 187, Magnificat. And we're going to pray the prayer for the day. say a good piece of olive wood that's what I mean okay it's carved out of one piece of wood nothing is glued no shoulders uh, glued to the arms and all of that stuff it's a one piece of wood it's a light piece of wood do it again do it, do it again <laughs> church was our next stop and we got off the bus in the parking garage and went up the escalator with some familiar signs on it <laughs> making tea <laughs> well we've arrived at the church of nativity we probably will not get in today to touch the actual stone under the grotto but We'll come back in the evening and do that. This is a short door into the Church of Nativity. They put it there so that the Muslims couldn't ride their horses and camels in. And then we walk into the huge nave of the church. This is a three hour line to go into the birthplace of Christ. It still goes through that door and then through another room and in and out into other stairs. We're now in the Church of St. Catharines in Bethlehem. This is attached to Nativity and this is where they have the Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve. We drove about three miles east to Shepherd's Field where the shepherds were on the night of Jesus' birth. There's always a young man there with a sheep trying to make him a little extra money, but it's nice to see the sheep. We're at Shepherd's Field now. This is the beautiful walk up to the site. Here we are entering the cave for Mass. This is where the shepherds were heard the good news about Jesus' birth. And here we enter the cave. Thank you. 
The communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who bring glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is King. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. I think whenever I'm reading this gospel, as I said, it's the third time in three or four months that I've read that gospel. Except, did you notice something different about it? It wasn't. In this region, that's right. Because usually it says in the in that region. It's in this region. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. cave is the beautiful chapel of the angels and here you see the angels making the announcement but the dog is not happy and he barks at the angels then there's the adoration and the dog is happy now and they all go back rejoicing with the dog rejoicing with them we get on the bus and we head to the promenade through this checkpoint out of we Bethlehem stopped here at the promenade to look out over Jerusalem and we also had a picnic lunch brought for everybody, shawarma. So everybody's sitting around finishing up their shawarmas. Very nice place. Great idea, by the way, to do that with these young folks. And I talked to them about this, what they're viewing. There's the city of Bethany behind that tree in the Mount of Olives. The Kidron Valley, Gethsemane is right in there. There's the Dome of the Rock and the parapet where Jesus was tempted by the devil. And the Via Dolorosa, where we're going to have Mass. Uh, after the Via Della Rosa and where Mary fell asleep in the upper room. All of this I told them right there in front of their eyes. They were very attentive and excited about it too. If you know where Jesus is standing when he says certain things, it adds like technicolor to it. Jesus says, you abide in me and you'll bear much fruit. That means one thing. Great. Okay, he said that. But if you know he said it, he's the high priest. And he's saying it in front of the temple, and he's saying, I'm the new temple. I'm going to tear this down and rebuild it in three days. I'm the temple. If you abide in me, you'll bear fruit like these grapes. I'm the vine. I'm the vine. You are the branches. Yep. So now, if you go from there, see where the wall goes and it abruptly stops? Follow the gold dome to the right, and the wall abruptly stops. By the way, that's the pinnacle of the temple where the devil said to Jesus, throw yourself down at that corner. But if you go past the wall where it stops there on the right and see there's a little bit of trees and then there's a, a building there, kind of a low building, yeah. that is the Church of Gethsemane. We're going to have mass there. That's the Church of Gethsemane. So Jesus went there and he was praying and Judas came and arrested him at that church and that, then they took him all the way back up to that fat church. And that's where he was tried by Caiaphas. And that's where Jesus was kept in prison over Holy Thursday night. I'm going to show you that prison in a day or two. There's a big cistern underground. Then Friday morning, they pulled Jesus out of there and they took him back over to where the gold dome is. That was the Antonia Fortress where Pilate was. And that's where he was whipped and beaten and tried and put a crown of thorns. And then from that gold dome where that was, they marched him up along the walls again. And if you follow the wall, just to the right of that is the domes of the Holy Sepulchre where Jesus was crucified, buried, and rose from the dead. All of that took place under one roof. Next, we went to the city of David and ended up at the Pool of Siloam. There was movies and archeology, span but the fun thing was all the kids got to go through the tunnels under the city, Hezekiah's tunnel, through the water to the other side, about a half a mile in the dark. 
and then they came out at the pool of Salome. There were movies and everything. It was a great time. Everybody had a blast. So this is the pool of Salon from the Byzantine and Crusader times where we filmed our movie. So here's the pool of Salome. And this walkway is this walkway right up here with all the markets and the shops, this Herodian walk up towards the temple. So you can see they leave the pool, they go up that street, they go all the way up to the southern wall of the temple. And then this is where Jesus taught right there. And then they would go to the temple. Very, very cool. So this is the end of Hezekiah's tunnel, you see there. And it came out to this pool used by the Byzantines and the Crusaders. This is where my movie on Jesus was filmed. And the man had to wash the mud from his eyes. This is where I came. But now they found a real one. But this is still the water from Hezekiah's tunnel. Make sure to watch the second part of the movie for today where we do dancing and eating in Bethlehem.